So I'm working on this picture, which is a commission. It's for this amazing man who is 72. He's got heart condition with four stents. And in the past two years, he's been diagnosed with leukemia. He cycled twice, called to Malay and Pyrenees. The highest summit there is 7,000. He also rode coast to coast to raise the funds for leukemia charity. So it's pretty amazing achievement because the cycling keeps him fit. Knowing about his amazing achievements helps me to add this atmosphere to the picture. idea for this picture is to show the cyclist going up the hill and the light, the last rays of sunshine flickering as the sun hides behind the mountain. To achieve the effect of light, I'm going to use some uh, acrylic paint and I will be using titanium white. Titanium as opposed to mixing white, it's really covering. Titanium and mixing white, they are two different whites. I'll also be using a brush with a very bristled hair like this brush. And I am going to make sure that it is really dry. Yeah, I'm going to make it very pale yellow. And I'm going to use a palette knife to mix the colors. I need to make sure this is really well mixed into one consistent paste. Probably if I added yellow ink to this mixture, it would be much more vibrant. So yes, I'm going to add just a drop of yellow ink. This ink will really overpower this paint, the acrylic. But look, that color is much more vibrant. Ultra matte medium from Liquitex. I know that it will add some body to this paint. Right, dry brush. And I have prepared this piece of paper because I need the edge. The light is going to go from that direction. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just dab Dab, dab, dab. This is going to be like a painting in perspective. So all the light comes from one point and that point is the brightest point on the canvas. And as we know from physics, which I'm not very good at, but I know that light spreads in straight line. Notice that when I am building that glowing light behind the cyclist, that I'm smudging bright paint with my finger. That bright glow behind the cyclist makes him stand out from the background. I want to show this road, so I will add a little bit more color to the road. So this road will stand out. This road needs to be a little bit darker here because it goes down into ditch. I will put some Prussian blue. Prussian blue is quite dark. Because I've added the gloss paint and it created a nice texture. The ink now stops at the edge of texture of that gloss paint so that will allow me to build light and show this space behind that cyclist behind those hills 